Hey beauties and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today's video we are going to be using the uh, PR Yogi um, poly gel kit that I was sent. I did um, show this in my last haul video which was like Wednesday I think. I can't remember now. My mind's like gone to mush. Um, but basically I showed everything that was in the kit in that video but I'm just giving a quick overview of what's in this kit again. Um, but the other video it does show uh, how everything comes packaged as well so yeah like I said I'm showing you everything right now but what we're going to do today is we're going to use this kit to create two sets yes two I'm doing both hands in this video um <laughs> two sets of nails and we're going to do the difference between the jewel form method and the lazy girl method uh, so basically I do have a lot of questions um, where people do get confused between the two methods and you know and you know that's fine uh, you know it, sometimes I probably don't explain it well enough in some videos so today we are going to talk about it all <laughs> so in this kit you get everything that you need literally everything you need right down to even um lymph-free pads which I was like okay yeah that's great Do you know like I think this is the only kit that I have had where it's actually come with lymph free pads like that's amazing so it comes with uh, your slip solution your poly gel brush um your nail file it comes with a little white mini lamp um top and base coat it comes with uh decorations poly gels um gosh i'm sure there's something else that i've forgotten but yeah it comes with everything that you need right i didn't use anything else besides um no, I don't think I use anything else at all. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so anyway, as we, sh I'm going to show you through here. So um, <clears throat> this was a PR package, like I said. So I want to say a big thank you to you, Yogi. They always send me their packages, uh, like PR and their kits and stuff, and they're great. They work so well with me, and I absolutely love creating content for them. So thank you for uh, sending me this kit so the poly gels that are in this kit are 15 milliliters each and it's three different pink colored shades first is the tender pink then there is a cover pink and a nude pink yes this is the nude pink here so they're all really nice colors um i do all, oh that's what i do use i do use my yogi <clears throat> oh i turned into darth vader then sorry I do use my Yogi uh, clear poly gel in this as well, but I didn't get it in this kit. But you can get the this kit comes in like a variety of different like colors. You can choose which colors that you want. Uh, so they have like a variety there. So it's not just like oh you know you get these or lump it. You, you can get a different variety, and you can also get more poly gels um, in the kits as well. But I do also love the packaging. I do have to go back to the box. So the box uh, there is a story behind it. They've changed the packaging now. It's absolutely fab. And I am totally here for it. I think it's stunning. And I like that it's got like the flip up box. And it's a sturdy strong box as well. Which is great. So anyway, moving on to the jewel forms now. So what I'm doing now is I'm just sizing up my jewel forms. Making sure they sit from. They sit. Well sit. Fit. Whatever. Uh, they, they fit from side wall to side wall. And they also fit the cuticle area. Along with making sure there is enough space in the like in between the nail bed and the jewel form i just showed you the biggest size they are you can get one to twelve sizes of jewel forms in this those that last one that i just showed is for your big toe it is um absolutely massive <laughs> i was like okay so anyway <laughs> moving on to prep i just quickly push back my cuticle scrape away any of the dirt and dead skin mainly dead skin here my nails are so dusty and bleh. so yeah they did need a good prep <clears throat> and then once i've done this then i use the file well i don't prep my nails properly because i do pop these off after the video uh but i use my va uh, my vial oh gosh i can't speak today what's life uh i use my file and what you would do is use the 180 grit side and you just file the shine away from your natural nail you don't want to take any layers away because otherwise well, you're thinning out your nail and you don't want to do that. Then just taking some slip solution and one of the lint-free pads, which are really nice, by the way. They're not, they don't have like cotton or anything on them. They're really nice. Uh, I just use that to wipe away all of the dust. Then you'd go in with your primer 
and then your base coat like I just showed and cure for 60 seconds. I'm now just wetting my brush with some slip solution that I put into my new crown bowl. Um, I couldn't, I was like, where do I wipe it on the side? <laughs> uh, so yeah, you just, I'm just like this packing powder in the, in the brush. So I just pushed it out. And then I used my new mermaid little plate palette thing that I bought on Amazon. And I put all my little um, decals onto the, not decals, rhinestones and gems and like embellishments that come in the kit. I just poured them onto the plate. Um, so basically now what we're going to do is we're just using the tent. We used just the tender pink and the clear today. And what I'm doing is I've just pressed the jewel form onto the nail stand here with some blue tack white tack I do I think you I think you call it wall tack in America in case anyone's wondering what the hell I'm talking about uh so yeah all you want to do is you just want to place a bit uh, like a dollop or a bead you can use a spatula under the poly gel brush if you want to and scoop it in I don't because I find it easy to, to do the toothpaste method that's my personal opinion that's how I work but of course if anything suits better to you then by all means do it then of course you want to make sure um, that the poly gel when you're applying it into the actual jewel form you want to make sure that you put it so it's thin around the side walls and the cuticle area and most of the poly gel is in the apex area because that's where you need it to sit then you push it onto your finger making sure there's no air bubbles and you get like a suction feeling of it staying on your nail clean up the side walls and the back to make sure any no poly gels oozed out and then just take your hand in the night the night light <laughs> the light to cure night light oh gosh um so anyway go moving on to the next nail now and basically what i've done is um someone did ask i'm going to do another video on how to encapsulate uh different ways to encapsulate like big chunky things and glitter and stuff uh soon but i did want to show how you could encapsulate big chunky things with dual forms in this video so basically what i'm doing i just put down a layer of uh, that clear poly gel it doesn't have to be too thick because otherwise your nail's going to be too bulky and basically before curing i then stick and push loads of little um embellishments and like a sun and like they kind of look like meteorites sort of things and like rocks that was my idea space <laughs> um so once i'd done that i made sure that they were all pushed in so there was no ear bubbles and then bef and you can cure this layer i didn't but um you can cure this layer it's completely up to you <laughs> i didn't and i just put the tender pink on top and then i just push and pat it around into place i absolutely love yogi poly gel do you know i d hardly dip my brush each nail i dip my brush once into the alcohol and that's it it's not sticky at all and it doesn't get sticky or tacky it's fab and it's so nice to work with like you, you could see it was, just, it was just moving so nicely oh I, I can never rave about your yogi enough honestly so anyway once I was done I then popped it onto my nail pressed it in again to make sure there was no air bubbles clean up around the sides and the back and then cure again um and we're basically doing the same thing um for the next nail now again with the clear poly gel push in some de uh, not decals i keep wanting to say decals they're not decals they're like embellishments and rhinestones i guess um i think i've done like a star and a moon on this one yeah uh and then the next one i think i've done completely beer again so it matched the pinky finger the thumb i used that as a recording for my tiktok because <laughs> i have a tiktok now a tiktok account now so yeah you can follow me there on there as well i am starting to well i'm going to try and start uploading more videos on there as well um yeah it's just some short nail videos like with some like i might probably do gel nails i don't know but anyway going back to this set so yeah i done this and then i done that now <laughs> I just put some more poly gel on top again, pressed it into place, and then I cured again. Um, so yeah, the dual form method is the 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 dual form method and the lazy girl method are exactly the same up until you finish curing. That's where it completely changes. So the dual form and the lazy girl method are exactly the same here. You do the exact same thing as what I'm doing now. But when we move on to the next part, this is where it gets different. They're both really easy to use. I do prefer the lazy girl method over the dual form method. Um, but the dual form method, mind you, the lazy girl method is also great. They're both great for beginners. Um, and they're also 
grateful like doing your opposite hand if you're not a hundred percent like my i do this on the i do the jewelful method on my left hand and then i do the laser girl method in a second now on my right hand so don't worry we, i do do both methods i don't just like randomly talk about it so yeah now here is where it is very different so once you have cured you then pop the jewel forms off um and it gives you that shiny top and then you of course file and shape and buff to um make sure of course the nail is to your liking and to your shape um i would buff over the top just a little bit uh just because when you top coat you want to make sure that you can um what's it called um the, the gel will adhere because the like, gel doesn't tend to like to stick to shiny surfaces but as you can see here i am now filing very fast and going in and out of frame i do use my nail clippers just to, to cut off the tips there because that's another thing as well jewel forms are great like you can you can do a nail but like i whenever i use jewel forms i always end up with like that rounded tip <laughs> and also with jewel forms you can only go a certain length um and then of course with the you got a file as well so you kind of get shorter nails whereas the laser girl method you get longer nails i hope that makes sense because you you don't yeah so yeah this is the this is the jewelful method <laughs> sorry i'm trying to make sure that i cover all angles because i don't want people to get any more confused than what they are but as you can see i'm just filing them down and making sure that they are fine of course with the jewelful method as well gel tends to rise to the surface of your nail but because the jewel form protects the nail um when you're curing the gel the sticky layer actually goes underneath so you need to make sure you wipe that away before you start filing otherwise you're gonna get gunky stuff and whatnot so now i'm just going in with some top coat and then i go in with some cuticle oil and well i cure and then go in for cuticle oil and that is basically it for the jewel form method so like i said it's absolutely fantastic for beginners once you're like you you know what you're doing with nails you kind of notice like little faults like jewel form is used to i used to love jewel form but now i'm like, eh, like but then i know I'm I'm still a beginner. Like you always learn. The, no one can say they are absolutely perfect at nails, no matter how many years experience they've got, because everyone always has something new to learn. So here is the final result of the jewel thorn 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 <laughs> the jewel form method. I think it's a great um great for short nails. I do like how they turn out. They look really cute, and I love the little pieces. So of course they are completely. Uh, encapsulated into the nail because of the jewel form as well that's another thing and it's also perfect jewel form jewel forms are perfect for um like creating your apex for you so now moving on to the laser girl method so this is where uh it's exactly the same you would size up your nails to fit your your nails like personally um always go for the bigger size or your size like this is where it's some people are different some people say go a size up i usually go for a, this, like my size my exact size or i go for the uh size that's just a tiny tiny bit bigger i never have problems with that but basically what i'm showing you right now as well is just to file away the the little nub that they come off the mold in <laughs> uh so yeah <laughs> i just uh sized up all of my nails and make sure they sit fit from sidewall to sidewall like a jewel form with space in the middle i'm using the square gel coffin nails from gel coffin the square gel coffin i'm using the square gel nails from aliexpress i have everything linked down below in the description box uh if in case you guys want to look for it <laughs> uh so anyway what i'm doing now is uh i'm just i've just painted some base coat into the nail now i'm pressing in some of those hollow butterflies because they were stunning and uh before curing of course and then i stick it in the nail to cure and now i'm just showing you like because i didn't want this video to be too long basically i do the same for all of the nails bar the index finger which is the second one from the left um i leave that on beer uh so yeah it's the same again you can use base coat though for this or you can use clear poly gel it's completely up to you you can put the base coat with the poly gel in first press your stuff in cure then go in with the layer of um poly gel and then <clears throat> cure into your nails so like like i said it's exactly the same as jewel form here and uh it's really simple and really easy uh so yeah you just uh put whatever you want in there i had a 
a posture among the nail there and I had to pull it back out it was a rhinestone uh, <laughs> but yeah I'm just pushing in some little like I don't know they're like little stones and some suns and some stars and some moons and some butterflies as you can see there was the rest so now I'm just showing you then what you would do is you would just put your poly gel into the nail and uh, you would pattern and pull it around in place again uh, exactly like a dual form then you would put it onto your nail press down to make sure that it was there was no air bubbles then you clean up around the sides and the edges and uh, the back to make sure that it's all smooth and nothing is gathered and touching your skin. Don't cure poly gel or any nail product for that matter on your skin because it can cause allergies. I still haven't done that video of allergies. I will soon, guys. I've been meaning to do it for so long. <laughs> but anyway, I just cured it onto my nail then, as you've seen, and then I moved on to the next nail. So now I'm just putting the poly gel in again, exactly like the jewel form method. Um, but you go all the way up. Make sure you cover the whole nail because you want to encapsulate the whole nail and make sure it's still thin around the cuticle area the side walls and most of the poly gel is gathered in the center to build up your apex and also to make sure that the nail will stay secure on your nail i didn't even breathe then <laughs> i don't think i don't know so there i was just cleaning up the um excess then that come off and i do the same thing i think i do an ombre here i put the pink at the nail bed and then the clay at the tip yes and i basically just molded them in together back and forth i pushed it all up one way and then all way all back down the other way and it seemed to work fine it, it, it created a really nice ombre <laughs> so there's another way of ombreing as well hey the more you know um so yeah just pulling it up and down here like you can see pretty simple pretty easy i do love this method and this is uh, this is so much easier than dual forms again that's why femi beauty uh named it the lazy girl method because it is even lazier than a dual form um you would push it onto your nail and then you cure and but the great thing about um lazy girl method is once you've done this step you do not and i'll repeat you do not remove the nail that nail is now a part of your nail, a part of your build, your your application, your build, your structure. It stays there and it creates more strength and it also creates the apex. So you don't even have to worry about filing. Maybe a little bit if a bit of poly gel has come out the side or something like that. Or around the cuticle, a little bit of cuticle filing maybe. But once you stick this on your nail that's it you cure and it stays there and because these are gel tips gel adheres to gel uh so yeah that's another great thing as well so there we go and basically now what i'm just doing is just top coating um i forgot to file over the top you could just give it a quick buff but yeah uh, i also do um top coat the underneath as well because uh with the lazy girl method because you don't take it off like a jewel form you leave the nail on with the lazy girl method the stickiness is all underneath and because they're very long as well uh you wipe away the sticky tack layer but it's still a bit of like tackiness not tacky it's like a weird feeling um so yeah i wipe it away and then i put top coat just to be on the safe side um so yeah the laser girl method is my absolute favorite i do it so many times i do have a lot more of play uh, i've got a playlist of it now actually uh which i will link um in the video somewhere in one of the cards so just click on the eye and you will find it um but yeah this is uh an absolutely fab way to do your nails it's easy and it's even easier than um the dual form method so it's great for beginners this is where i have trouble with the rhinestones they really don't want to play ball and they keep sliding everywhere i'm using the mccart nail and gem glue you can see it's just sliding around um to put these on the this is the best glue i've ever used for like rhinestones it's basically it's essentially builder gel but it's really strong. I've never had a problem with it. I've never lost a nail, um, not a nail. I've never lost a rhinestone. And then I just quickly top coating here. And that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, there is a little there is a little bit of difference between the two methods. But the lazy girl method is called lazy girl for a reason because you do not even have to take away the nail. So once you're done, you don't have to file and you top coat and you go i know some people do um before they put the poly gel in they do uh 
etch the inside of the full cover nail when doing doing the laser glue method. You don't have to. I don't. And I've never had a problem. Um, but yeah, make sure none of the poly gel as well touches your skin because if it does, that will cause lifting. I know a few people have had some lifting errors. Um, so yeah, it just takes practice and you just got to keep on at it. Don't be like disheartened if you don't get it the first time. Practice makes perfect. I'm still learning and practicing now and I've been doing this for a year. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope that this helped in any way, shape or form. Um, let me know down below in the comments if there is any other questions that you would like me to answer that I can help with. But other than that, I hope you're all having a wonderful day in the world and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. This could be good for me. Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose